New shooter coverage of NAB 2024 is sponsored by Atomos, B&H Photo Video, and Atlas Lens Co. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at NAB 2024. I'm with Dan at the Atlas Lens Co. booth, now long and wide. That's the, the theme of your, your show this year. <laughs> you could say, yeah, we've been going long and we also want to go wide. So we have a new three group of Orion series lenses. We have an 18 millimeter, which is the world's widest chipping anamorphic lens. It's a T2. It has a 18 inch close focus or around half a meter for those in the metric scale. And we also introduced two new telephoto Orions, the 135 millimeter T2.2 and the 200 millimeter T3.2. And have these come based on um, requests from customers? Part of it's customer feedback. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the Orion series, they're a two times squeeze anamorphic lens set that are designed to cover four per film uh, or what we think of as Super 35, but they will actually cover beyond that. So if you're using something like a Sony FX3 or FX6, they'll cover the uh, anamorphic mode out of that to deliver a 235 or 239. Um, and so we have 12 lenses in the Orion series family now. Uh, only seven years ago, we debuted the Orion series here at NAB show. And this is sort of uh, the latest iteration and really makes it a very mature product family now. It's great to finally see two very long focal lengths too, because that's something you don't normally you know, associate necessarily with anamorphic primes. Absolutely. So it's something that's overlooked, as you said, because uh, of course, with an anamorphic lens, your horizontal field of view is going to be wider by the anamorphic coefficient. So a 100 millimeter horizontal field of view effectively becomes like a 50 millimeter, which is very cool and convenient. But when you're trying to get very close up action on someone, uh, having a 135 or 200 is very useful. Um, and so another interesting feature of these lenses is that they have very close focus for such telephoto lenses. So both uh, the 100 focus down to three and a half feet, which doesn't sound that close. Uh, but at 200 millimeters, three and a half feet is pretty close. It's almost macro. Um, and you can easily use these with diopters to get even closer, close focus. And, and speaking of adapters, diopters, that sort of thing, um, you know, you've got a 1.4 times expander too, so you can use these on larger format sensors. Absolutely. So if you're looking to cover more than a standard 4-perf uh, or even beyond what, for instance, the Sony FX3 or FX6 can record, um, you know, because they have about a 20 millimeter sensor height, um, you want to cover something like a 36 millimeter by 24 millimeter format, uh, like the new Ursa Mini or Ursa 12K Cine, um, or something like an Alexa Mini LF, uh, Sony Venice Open Gate. Our 1.4 times expander will allow you to cover edge to edge in those formats, which would give you an approximately three to one aspect ratio for delivery. And so you can see at the booth, we actually have three monitors up here, and we're sort of paying homage to the origin of anamorphic history. And, uh, it's, an, it's a reference to Cinerama, which was a three camera, three screen process. And uh, Anamorphic evolved out of that as an affordable way to make panoramic films on a standard square sensor or piece of film at the time, I should say. And I have, and I have to ask again, I know I've asked, I think I asked you this uh, last year before Cinegear, Anamorphic zooms, any chance in the future? Well, be on the lookout for Atlas because we are always innovating, but we also take slow, cautious steps to make sure that every effort, every design implementation that we're putting out uh, not only meets, but exceeds customer expectations, user expectations. Um, and so we're pacing ourselves and taking the right steps to make sure the future of cinematography is as bright as all of you fantastic filmmakers out there. And in terms of shipping and availability for these three new focal lengths? So the exciting thing is that the 18 millimeter is in stock and shipping now. Uh, 135 <laughs> sold out of the in stock inventory, but we are building more and those should be available if you pre-order now in about four weeks. So our build cycle is about four weeks for these lenses. Um, we know it's kind of a pain point for some people who have been waiting for Mercury series lenses for a long time, but we're doing our best to make sure that those back orders are delivered as soon as possible. And because we have such a mature manufacturing process for the Orion series, it's actually easier for us to deliver these quicker uh, because of every process that we put in place for those lenses over the last seven years. And speaking of Mercury series, um, any plans to add wider and longer focal lengths to that series? Well, it's cool because we have uh, pretty telephoto lenses now in the Mercury series. So they go 
36, 42, 54, 72, 95, and 138. So that's the six lens Mercury set. But we're always listening to what people want. Um, personally, I'd love an even wider lens because if you're using a 35 millimeter format instead of a full frame format, 36, which ends up being horizontally equivalent to about a 24, there's always people who want about an 18 millimeter equivalent. So that's a little clue as to something we may be working on in the near future uh, in terms of wide angle Mercury series lenses. And 138 we find to be pretty long. We'd love to welcome you down to the booth to try it out. We also do virtual demos, so you can register with us online. We'll schedule a Zoom meeting where you can actually get a direct live feed from the camera of your choice with a witness camera. So you can direct us, uh, tell us what to do with the lighting, tell us where you want us to put the actors and get dailies uh, remotely anywhere in the world. And every Wednesday we have an event called Wednesday Lens Day in Glendale, uh, Glendale, California. And that's our open house that we do every Wednesday. So sometimes it's very relaxing and calm with just free coffee. Other times we have a workshop with uh, special guests like Kodak. Amy Vincent ASC, for instance, did a workshop where we did stills on Kodak film. Sony, RED, um, manufacturers. We love to bring in camera manufacturers to partner with us for these Wednesday Lens Day events. And uh, think of it as like a car show environment where you can bring your own lenses, you can bring your own camera. We also have plenty of things that we like to show. And it's really built for the community. So it's a community-centric event. Don't worry if you don't know anything about lenses or cameras, come down, meet some people, have fun. And uh, if you're a big lens nerd like me, we'll just geek out over the Lens Museum and you know share our experiences. And that's really what filmmaking is all about, storytelling and humanity. So we're really excited about that.